addition and subtraction of thirds. So we can add and subtract thirds just like we do algebra. So we can only add and subtract like thirds. For example, 2 root 3 plus 5 root 3 is going to give us 7 root 3. So as long as the thirds are the same, all we have to do is add the number in front of the third. Four root three plus three root two will just be four root three plus three root two because they're not like thirds. We can't add those together. Eight root five minus three root five. Well, they're like thirds because they're both root fives. So we can just do eight minus three, which is five root five. What about root 54 minus root 24? At first glance, we can't subtract these thirds because they're not like thirds, but these thirds can be simplified. So let's simplify them first. So root 54 can be written as root 9 times 6. And root 24 can be written as root 4 times 6. Well, root 9 is 3, so we're going to have 3 root 6. Root 4 is 2, so we're going to have 2 root 6. And now you can see they are, they are like thirds, and we can subtract them. And 3 minus 2 is 1, so we get 1 root 6, but we just write root 6. So I've got one more. 8 root 10 plus 4 root 5 minus root 90. Well, again, we have no like thirds to begin with, but this third can be simplified. Root 10 can't be simplified because there's no factors which are perfect squares. Same with 5. But we can simplify root 90, so let's do that. So we'll have 8 root 10 plus 4 root 5. 90 can be written as 9 times 10, because 9 is a perfect square number. So we get 8 root 10 plus 4 root 5 minus root 9 is 3, so we have 3 root 10. And now we can simplify 8 root 10 minus 3 root 10 gives us 5 root 10 plus the 4 root 5.